Guys, if you are planning on coming to the UK, please prepare your mind. So hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Yvonne and thank you so much for stopping by. If you're a returning subscriber, I just want to say thank you so much for sticking with me and if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Okay, thank you. Um, and today's video guys, I'm going to be doing like a cook with me, you already know from the title. Um, we're going to like cook jello fries and a goosey soup. Um, Pardon me if I'm not talking like too loud or I'm not looking all sharp. I'm feeling not feeling too well, but hopefully I'll be better. The weather is adding up to it as well. So yeah, um, I want to make jello fries today and I want to make a goosey soup. Mind you, today is Saturday. It's weekend. I have work trip next week um, and school as well. So. I would not be able to cook like when I come back from school and all of that and all of that. So yeah, I want to make prep for the week now, a goosey soup and jello fries. I already soaked my meat, I brought that from the freezer, I'm going to bring out my chicken now, you know? Yeah, we're just going to like have a little chat. So we're going to cook and we're going to chat on basically what I have experienced in the UK since I've been here. I've been here for like almost two months now and short time but... I've experienced a lot <laughs> yeah so um yeah let's go right into it okay guys in case you're hearing any noise it's from the washing machine i'm washing my clothes um it's cold chicken so yeah um I want to boil my chicken now and because I need this stock for my jello fries. I know people will ask me why not use your oven blah blah blah. I need this stock for my jello fries so that's why I'm going to boil my chicken. So yeah, um, where do I start from? Let's start from first thing I've experienced. Shocking thing actually I will say, yeah. The first thing is that in this UK nobody gives a damn about you. That's just the truth number one nobody gives a damn about you you're here on your own right yeah so and also people like to mind their business a lot people mind their business a lot in the uk so for example you can like see maybe a mom and her kid arguing on the street and you're like not my african in you be like my dear if you're in nigeria do you spank your ass spank your bubble but yeah, you can't do anything, you just like pass and just like, you know, yeah. So yeah, the second thing I would, I have noticed about the UK, I won't call it shocking, people call it culture shock, but I'm not going to say it's going to, it's not shocking, but they drink from the tap, they literally drink water from the tap, I think I said this in my last video, um, I said I wasn't used to drinking water from the tap, what the hell is that? Oh, the washing machine is done. So yeah, in my last video, I said I wasn't used to get drinking water from the tap. So yeah, they actually do drink water from the tap. They said like UK has like cleanest water. I don't know how true that is, but yeah, they said that. So um, putting my chicken in now. This is enough. Um. So yeah. Um. Another thing I'm going to say is, guys, if you are planning on coming to the UK, please prepare your mind. Like, just be open-minded. Um, you're going to miss your family a lot because you're going to feel like alone. You know when they say that when you move abroad here, yeah, you tend to be depressed? That's true. That's actually true because you're going to go through a lot. You definitely go through a lot. It's not going to be like rosy and all of that, but you'll be fine at the end of the day, right? um yeah now i want to boil my wash my chicken boil it spice and boil it like i said um so yeah 
another thing I'm going to talk to you guys and I will not call you food and coffee. But anyways, another thing that I have noticed here is that they let they tend to smile to give you fake smile. Yeah, I won't say smile because imagine you're walking on the road like next thing they just look at you like what's that? <laughs> like what the hell is that? <laughs> if you want to smile at me, smile at me, don't give me that like what's that? Don't do that. You understand? So yeah, they do that a lot here. Um uh another thing i've also noticed is that i'm just going to be dropping this thing and not cook this food that i want to cook okay yeah so guys i want to wash my <laughs> i want to wash my chicken now and boil it okay guys literally um i just put the chicken on fire um i'm about to prep my tomatoes and pepper so let me give you guys one more gist so another thing that you will notice here is that you get to be called love and sweetheart a lot you get me right like a lot of people will get to call you oh hi love hi sweetheart for example at work they call me even love even darling even sweetheart i'm like oh my god oh my god oh my god are you guys serious so yeah um and another thing right you get to hear you're right you're right <laughs> you're right so literally they just tell you you're right you're right means like in nigeria it means like how far now my guy how far how are you how you did so yeah that's their you're right you're right here so yeah literally that's what it is So hi guys, so I'm about to fry my chicken. Um I don't want to bake it like I said earlier, so I'm going to fry it now. So hi guys, I'm done prepping. Um, I'm done prepping. I'm frying the stuff already. I'm frying the chicken already, so it's just a little bit of fries. Let me show you guys what I prepped. This is what I prepped. This is my tomatoes, my onion, my pepper, my ginger, and my garlic. I use my chicken rice. I don't like to use my um, blended stuff. Yeah, so my chicken is on fire. The other one is there. I'm gonna use the oil to cook the food, and this is me again. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I'm just gonna see you guys about culture shock and what I've experienced in the UK. Um, so another thing that I've experienced is this UK weather that is bipolar. UK weather is very bipolar. As early as 4 30 pm, in fact, 4 o'clock is already sunset. And everywhere is just like dark and 
like you do have to your day literally you have to you have to plan your day because once you don't plan your day you can't be creative you just want to spot everything you feel like oh it's very late i can't do anything blah 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 yeah so plan your day in the UK during winter for 30 February to see that um another thing that I have experienced in the UK since I got here is that when you come down from the bus you must say thank you to, it's not must it's not it's not compulsory so but they always say thank you to their bus driver so yeah literally so um we're about to get into our dollar fries cooking now yeah so let's go right into it so guys, now that stuff is done, I'm on to I'm done prepping. So now I want to wash my rice. I'm done prepping, so now I want to start with the double fries process. Um, we have our clean pot here. We have our meat stock ready. Everything is prepped, and then I'm gonna be using my tomato paste. So we're ready, guys. We're ready. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So yeah, first I'm just going to like let the pot dry up because I just rinsed it and then I'll add my oil and then we'll start the process. I've washed my rice already. So now guys I'm going to fry my onion. I like to put my garlic first. I don't know why. But... And then my ginger and then so we're gonna let that steam on for a while. Then we'll add our tomato paste. I'm still washing clothes, guys. That's why you can hear noise. So we're gonna let that simmer and turn translucent, and then we'll add. Our tomato paste. Yeah, I am to show you guys how to make jello fries. So yeah. Anyways, about my gist, I'm done with the gist. So we're just cooking now. So we're going to let this fry and simmer the tomato paste. I'm just going to let it fry simmer and then I'm going to add my tomatoes and my pepper before I add my spices. So now this has fried. I'm going to add my tomatoes. I'm just going to open up my spices and add it, okay? I'm adding parsley, I'm adding curry, I'm adding salt, I'm adding 
No cubes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rice is ready. Ice it smells so good in here, you know. Not do that and besides my friends around so I have to postpone that for another day this rice is like enough for me so yeah that's why I'm not cooking the soup I'll cook the soup another time so yeah guys um, I'm done cooking and I want to go do other stuff so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video please like my video subscribe share comment and I'll see you guys in my next one bye guys <laughs>